Hello and good Wednesday, February 4th, 2009. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. Do you ever wonder where your food comes from? Have you ever been nervous that terrorists have created bio-warfare germs or chemical bombs and that the world could blow up any day now? Well, try adding the Pyrenean Ibex to the list. The Pyrenean Ibex, or Bucardo, declared extinct in 2000, has become the first animal ever to be resurrected through cloning. Unfortunately, the newborn Ibex clone was born with a physical defect of the lungs, a condition common to cloned sheep and died within seven minutes of being born. Despite the fact that the clone was the only pregnancy to result from the 439 embryos created from sample tissue of the last surviving Bucardo, scientists are hopeful about the premise of resurrecting the species. You know, if somebody would give me a grant to do that, I'd clone Chewbacca. I'd love to have him back. Where German engineering meets social arts, Designers from the architectural firm Graft have unveiled their plans for the Monument of Unity. The giant free-floating German flag made of semi-impact air motion modules would allow the flag to cover, float and fly through the air unsupported. The idea is that you would carry it around to a big event and kind of play around with it in the sky. At its finest, German design firm Ked presents their new product, the Hendekogram, a horn-style sound amplifier for your earbuds. Maybe not at its finest, but interesting. In Australia, Tiny injectable robo-doctor swims through blood vessels, looks around with cameras and other sensors. Across the Atlantic. Ted Chiamillo will be attempting to peddle a homemade human-powered submarine designed by himself from Cape Verde off the west coast of Africa to Barbados in a span of two months. The small vessel will be filled with water to help balance the pressure. Much like this telephone aquarium booth in France by artists Benoit Dessay and Benedetto Buffalino. But different. Cognitive associations formed in games carry on in real life. The new study links people's distaste for things in real life that resemble the opponents in their games, which could lead people to shoot aliens and monsters if they were ever attacked. In Related, scientists confirm that you can absolutely be scared to death without a doubt, and recently a man was tried for murder for having scared to death a woman after breaking into her home to hide from a prior robbery. In a scare for privacy activists, New intelligent advertising installations can track attention, gender, age and more with cameras and facial recognition software to then provide targeted advertising. Which they claim is what you want, even if you didn't know it yet. World's smallest piano. And finally for today, a farewell to the apostrophe, vaguely defining the plural from the possessive since the 18th century. It's a dark day for grammar in Birmingham, UK, as the apostrophe is being banned from street signs. City officials have been omitting apostrophes from street signs since the 1950s, but many residents have revolted, causing a state of unrest for the town's nomenclature. Councillor Martin Mullaney, head of the City Transport Scrutiny Committee, recently complained that too much time had been wasted debating issues related to the grammatically correct possessive form of street names, and thus supported the measure on the ban. A life without apostrophes is a life without apostrophes. And don't do you ever forget it.